Your first step is to line up the two halves of the hub. While holding the two halves together evenly, mark the width of the hubs using a marker. Use sandpaper and sand off the gloss from the marked area. If necessary, remark hub position after sanding. Mask off the pipe around the sanded area to protect the rest of the pipe. Now apply a generous amount of primer and scrub into the surface to soften the pipe and hub. Once primed, apply a thick and even coat of solvent cement. Apply solvent cement to both pipe and hub using multiple coats if necessary. Work quickly and place both halves around pipe evenly and hold in place for one minute. Now place the clamp around the hub, opposite the ring and tighten to approximately 15 foot-pounds. Now that your solvent cementing is complete and cured, assemble remaining components and hardware. Measure the thickness of the seated ring. Mark this length on the pipe from the ceiling side of the split hub. Cut and bevel pipe and insert into seated ring. Pipe ends should come within a quarter inch of the seated ring face. Do not allow the pipe to protrude past the face. Once seated, install split ring. Align bolt holes and install washers, bolts, and gasket. Now install a pre-measured solvent cemented and cured spool piece and tighten hardware hand tight. For this demonstration we use an unsolvent cemented flange as an example. Now following normal makeup procedures, using a torque wrench and backup wrench, tighten each nut in 5 foot pound increments using a 180 degree opposing pattern until specified torque is reached. Thank you for watching.